what kind of communication outreach does the Society for Family Health use in um, in promoting family planning in Nigeria. Uh, basically, the first thing is that we have two broad target groups. The providers, the broad range of providers, ranging from doctors to nurses, midwives, pharmacists, and patent medicine dealers in some cases. And then, of course, we have the other broad group, which is um, the consumers or the clients, if you want. Um, so we, we use a mix of communication strategies. We do a lot of mass media. Of course, you do know that in Nigeria, no family planning brand is allowed to be advertised in the mass media. So what we just do is communicate the broad range of products. For instance, we talk about the oral pills, we talk about the injectables, we talk about the IUCD as generics, not mentioned in any particular brand. And so our effort in doing that is to make sure that people know at least a number of family planning methods available that they can choose from if they do want to practice family planning. And we also do interpersonal communication, particularly at the community level, where we actually target the consumers themselves. And then, of course, we do some training, which also have elements of communication. And then most of the training are targeted at providers. The, this list of providers I've talked about, depending on what product and what method that is approved for them to supply or resupply in Nigeria. We also use community theater. We have specially made vehicles with uh, theaters on top of them where we get to communities, assemble people, and then talk to them about particular methods of family planning and the benefits. And in all our communication efforts, we emphasize the benefits of family planning, depending on the region we are in. To some people, we talk about the economic benefits. To some others, we talk about the health benefits. And our community level efforts um, basically follow our HIV AIDS efforts. Because what we are trying to do is to um, start to run integrated programs. Currently, the Society for Family Health is working in all 36 states in Nigeria where we have selected specific sites and communities to work in. And we have selected communities we call the family planning communities. And these are specially selected based on the density of the population, the number of women and men of reproductive age, and perceived family size. In Nigeria, of course, you know that family size is a big issue, so people like to have many, family, many uh, people in their family. Uh, so what we do is we go to these communities and identify role models that we train as peer educators. And what we are trying to do there is achieve some sustainability. So we train these peer educators on several elements of family planning. And then we have guides. The guides are contained in a model we developed called the Peer Education Plus model. So we have modules in that Peer Education Plus model that deal with family planning. So we go through this model with the peer educators. At the end of several weeks of training, they are graduated as proficient in teaching their peers about these family planning methods. And then what our staff do at the end of the day is to follow up with these peer educators to provide them with update training, to monitor what they are doing, and to make sure that they are doing the correct thing. In some instances, we also provide them with uh, some um, incentives in terms of money for their transport, money for their food, money for their water, so that they just continue to do the work. So basically, what we do in these communities is pair education training, where you have uh, ranging from 10 to 20 people gathered together among their pairs, women, men. They talk specifically about the benefits of family planning and the family planning methods of choice available to them. We also occasionally use the community theater. We started off using outsiders. What I mean by outsiders, I'm talking about people who do not live in the community to perform some of these dramas and then have questions and answers. And then we graduated to where we now have to have members of the community forming their own theater groups. And so sometimes you see members of the community with people from the outside coming together to perform dramas on specific elements of family planning. And we thought that the value of this is that people in the community are able to identify with one of their own who is telling them 
these stories or telling them the issues or talking to them about family planning. And they end up being much better accepted than, than having people from the outside. So that's basically what we're doing. Of course, at the end of the day, we follow up with making sure that the products are widely available using a group we call the detailers, who are mostly pharmacists. These pharmacists also follow up with further education, further update knowledge of all the providers, while the community activities concentrate actually on the consumers.